You are really rather good at what you do. How about you join my court? And I'll give you Srafenhaka. Grant landed title. City of Srafenhaka. Off you go. Alright. Oh, they're coming for us. Barcelona thinks that they can take us on. Scarder, bow, Renhard. 2,400. They have a thousand heavy infantry. We have a thousand heavy infantry. We have excellent commanders. They had one not turn up for work. They have more light infantry. I have more pikemen, but only just. This is going to be close. But I have another stack on the way. Oh no, we're trouncing them. That's the quality of um, military ability. In the chaos of the Battle of Barcelona, my men cornered Mayor Rochido of Palace, who resisted bravely. 900 for the... Uh, 100. Not too shabby. Nice try, Barcelona. Not enough, though. And there goes the Siege of Barcelona. Are we actually looting this stuff, though? Yeah, I think we are. It's just not been burned down, that's why I'm a little confused. Yeah, we're taking money. These ones we're burning. That's definitely getting burned. Also, this ship's almost full. Correction, is full. Um, let's move you here real quick. Group. Split. Split. Full ships we send home. Uh, so we'll just go to Sussex and then back again. So you're going out with 500 ducats. Perfect. Oh, oh, okay. Here they come. 3,000 versus 9,000. Where's the queen? There. Battle is joined. So they have come in with 6,200. I'm defending with 3,600. It is in the mountains. So the light and heavy infantry have 10% bonus. The pikemen attack and defense is slightly up. Archers really benefit than horse archers, weirdly, the most. We have another 2,000 men coming in. They have another 3,000. We are, however, led by a 46 martial general. Shield walls versus inspired defense. Heavy infantry combat plus 150% versus 300 shield wall. But this is gonna. <laughs> Whoa! Okay, so apparently we completely demolished their front line. Their center is just gone. Just like, you will not do much here actually because I'm a really good general. Alright, so we killed one of them. Good riddance. I feel the power of the wolf growing through my veins as I snarl at the enemy commander, visibly startling him. Surrender, he shouts. I am Bishop Onando of Hia, and... The man's words are cut short as my weapon cuts through his throat. Aha! I will mount your head on my castle walls. 6,000 kills for 389. Yeah, I think we got the better of them there. Just a gut feeling. Oh, we never did burn down Barcelona. Right, because we didn't have any money. So that's the ships arriving back at home. So we have money, and I do need to get another councillor. We could build the city of Sticht. I think we will actually build an actual city there. Wonder what stats and modifiers Mr. Temujin will have when he shows up. I suspect that Queen Caitlin the Legendary is probably stronger than Temujin. I become death, destroyer of worlds is really a magnificent quote. Yes. And yeah, the usage of it, especially with the nuclear test, chilling.
The really competent guy is still in charge of Asturias, but we defeated him soundly. And this bandage over his eye? Yeah, I did that. <laughs> she is the Sea Queen destroyer of armies. She really is. Why is there no fighter trait? There kind of is. You, you have duelist. Carrot is a masterful fencer and a duelist. A dangerous lifestyle, to be sure. And yet a very profitable one. Although that was actually one of the last traits that she picked up. I'm so happy that we have a Sea Queen now. As I said, I don't think I've ever had a character that's actually got that. And considering how often I play Norse characters, that's kind of surprising. Right, we need a new Seer. I'll burn as a level 17 learning. Can we do better than that? 19 for Hjalmar. Yeah. It's definitely been an interesting game. Like, as I said at the beginning of this, um, because you start in a Catholic province and all the nobility there start as Catholic, it's really difficult filling out your council because they're all going to be Catholics and they will hate you. So you have to get really good at searching the, re or searching the world at large for people of your religion and basically importing them. So... It's been really interesting, because usually I do just rely on those that are in my realm, but now I'm just like, right, who's got the skills I need? You over there. Okay, I'm going to bribe you so you join me. Culture attack in Hellra, because I still want to try and get legalism, if possible. And legalism is starting to grow. All right, so we're definitely starting to get new technologies coming through, which is awesome, and heavy infantry is also developing. Excellent. Is there a rank above Sea Queen? Nope, that's the highest. It goes Viking, Ravager, Sea Queen, or King. Stan Lee died recently, yeah, I heard. Sucks. Does she still have Godslayer? Yes, I don't think that's one that goes away. Godslayer there. Oh yeah, I only ever got Adept of Strategy, I never got Master of it. Three Battlefield Jewels. 34 regular jewels. She's gotten pretty good at it. And Hjalmar the Wealthy. <laughs> oh, I like that. So, uh, Queen Caitlin the Legendary is married to Hjalmar the Wealthy. But who made him wealthy? The legend is still taking a while to fill up. 54% and we're 46. I'm not sure we're going to make it. Hail, heroine! As members of the Wolf Warriors, we strive to better ourselves and each other. Seek out Dietpold. Very well. I will fight him. Dietpold, the short-tempered, has chosen to accept your challenge to personal combat. The fight has gone on for what feels like hours. The initial confidence I had felt begins to wane. The movements are getting sloppy. And then I win. We started out fighting him left-handed. And then revealed that we are, in fact, right-handed. Young Miller, a fledgling in the lodge, is a pure duelist at best. It is shameful for someone like her to be so un woefully unready. Um, she's a friend. Does that mean I've tried to train her before? Oh, is she the the one who's not very... Yeah, she's the one that has Diligent now. Well, I guess... Kind and ambitious and gregarious. I'm going to give her the best teacher. She's going to get completely and utterly destroyed in this fight. But hopefully she takes it well. Minus seven combat. Soundly beaten. She loses 150 renown. Yamilla thinks I chose her opponent poorly. Oh well. I gave you an opportunity to learn, you refused to take it. That seems like a whole lot of your problem. Oh shit, we're fighting. <laughs> um, I probably reacted to that one a bit late.
Unfortunately, I think as soon as we lose this battle, we're going to be kicked out of Asturias. Yeah, we've already retreated. No way of recovering from this. I'm noticing, however, that their king is not taking the field anymore. Where are you going? I told you to run to the ships. You fool. Battle of Provence. Things are going well when suddenly I hear an embarrassed huff from nearby. Spinning, my spear ready, I see the enemy commander, Count Nuno, awkwardly attempting to climb a large... Hey, Paradox Game, uh, how are you doing? Oh, Paradox, sorry. Yeah, you're the um, one I hosted last night. I remember. There you are, I've been itching for a fight. The sun is beginning to set when I meet with Count Nuno. My masterful short sword is ready. After he clumsily dodge, dodges one attack, my next one lands perfectly. Frantically, the man attempts to cover his injured chest, but I've rarely seen so much blood. I walk away victorious. Can you please, like, jump on the ships now? Oh, is it because the ships are full? Nope. Count Nuno of Palma was captured and is now my prisoner. Well, he fought poorly, so I'm going to sacrifice his ass. Chief Lou of Marrakech was also... Well, I'm also going to sacrifice him, because I sacrifice everyone. It wasn't really a choice. I have inherited Friesland tribe from the Thane. That's unfortunate. Well, actually... I've almost got the money where I can just straight up upgrade this place. I think I'm just going to save up. It's not cheap, though. 870... I'm sure that that's more expensive than just building a new holding. So let's throw you over there. And then the Queen's army... No, the Queen's army. These ones can go to Nice. And we'll start raiding that instead. Perfect. Group. And group you as well. Oh, that wasn't the Queen's army, that was the other army. Well, Caitlin's in charge with a 46 Marshal, then Hauke, then Gunnar. And this side is going to be led by Stola and Starker. Wow, your balance is really terrible. No matter. It is extremely annoying that you can't see which um, features you chose for your faith when you reform. Are the reforms for each religion the same? You have roughly the same choices, but every religion has a unique choice for them. So for the Norse, it is Sons of Ragnarok. So the other faiths can choose a feature which allows them to sail up rivers. They have a feature which allows them to get the coastal CBs. I think that's what it was. And one which allows them to do prepared invasions. The Sons of Ragnarok lets you do all of those, just in one choice rather than separate ones. Which means you can have other choices outside of that too. Hungry Gamer has finished his education in the ways of war. It seems he has worth learned the basic skills required. So he's a tough soldier. That's a bit unfortunate. Pretty good at fighting though. Tough soldier, militant, patient, and ambitious. That's actually a pretty good combination. Hungry Gamer is developing into an ambitious young man. Loses willful, gains ambitious. Yes, that is definitely what I want. The bloodline, unfortunately, is not active because it's Old Norse. Right, so, first thing I need to do is get you married. Let's do that here. And... I feel like I need someone who's good at intrigue to cover your back otherwise you're just going to get murdered possibly Beatrix oh shield maiden beta who are you married to Emma right. yeah I think beta is a good choice elusive shadow shrewd shield maiden gregarious paranoid kind 
I think that sounds like an excellent choice. So can I just set this up? Am I going to have to whoops, bring you in? Um, apparently I can't do that. Well, I'm going to bring you into the court and we'll do it that way. Hopefully. Sherborne, Dorchester, Dorset. The Vikings continue to expand in England. To the nice... <laughs> oh, wow, I love that title. To the nice berserker. <laughs> to the nice berserker, Caitlin. Your wisdom and mercy are legendary. I accept your gracious invitation. We'll join the court forthwith. <laughs> oh, you're betrothed. Um... Not anymore, you aren't. That would explain why I couldn't get them married. Oh, and I was going to give them a holding as well, wasn't I? This one. Or that one. No, we're going to give them Bolsvard. So go here, and then here. Grant landed title, Barony of Bolsvard. Send. Reports state that new recruits have been partaking in the initiation ritual, allowing the wolf warriors to be growing a number. Excellent. How is the legend growing? It was slowed down a bit. We're at 59. I'm not sure how I'm going to get a better chance to build up that legend than we have now, right now. Let's split you in half, send you to the Ligurian Sea. <laughs> yeah, wise choice. Don't go that way. Siege of Monaco, continue. Who inherits the Queen's husband's money? Flipping hell, he has 18,000. I can see why he's the wealthy. He's probably just been sitting on that. He has no holdings, and I'm not his liege. I wonder if he's incapable because he's got no raiding party anymore. I think King Hjalmar's army is just dead. Oh no, he's got 4,000 men. You're down here, so you, you're still raiding stuff. Okay. Wonder what Tengri and Slavic can have. I think the Slavic one is really defensive, so you can get loads of the defensive abilities, of which I have one of them, and it's really strong. Oh no, I took the offensive one. I didn't take the def defensive. And the stability one. There's a, a feature called stability, which is really good. I'm pretty sure the Slavic have that. And probably a better version of it. Who is the highest marshal in the world? I feel like the Queen's top five, if not number Oh, she's number one, easy. Let's reset this to that, and then first. Oh, yeah. First place by seven points. Mikhail was for the longest time in first place, and he is still an absolute beast. He's just got, like, all of the stats. Well, we're just good at fighting. But uh, we had a fight against him. We invaded Asturias with a bunch of raids and antagonized him while we were doing it. We fought a battle on the field of battle. He was like, I challenge you! And we smashed him and poked his eye out, hence the bandage he's wearing over his eye right now. He doesn't like me very much. Can't imagine why. Could land him. <laughs> You're not wrong. Um, upgrade to car. Here we go. Stone Hill Fort in Friesland Tribe. I have a feeling that that's going to be much, 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 much cheaper than just building a new holding here.
And then yes, I'll put him in charge of that land, then when he dies I'll inherit all the money because I should be his heir. Or at least, no, his son should be, which is my heir. But it doesn't actually say that he is the heir. It's really bizarre, I don't quite understand. If he's a rival, why don't you duel him? I already did, I beat him. Luna was filled with horses and cattle. Our raiders rounded up a large flock of the main square so I can decide which ones to pick for myself and what to do with them. I will take the best specimens because I want more money. I built up his Genoa. Not hugely. There must be a way to force open the defences of Genoa. A full assault from land and sea will crack their defences. Use your military skills to do a quick assault against the defenders in order to reduce their numbers and morale. Pretty sure I can do that. With attackers coming from both land and sea, the defenders of Genoa are una unable to divide their attention between our assaults. Today in the market, I watched the poor beggar, took his bowl full of coins, and went straight to the tavern to buy a drink. Perhaps mankind is unlovable after all. No more charity. Yeah, that's reducing my combat skills. No more charity. People suck, we should kill them. According to your marshal, Voldemar Stirbion of Aarhus, the peasants of Zeylant are having frequent troubles with hymen and wild beasts. He suggests constructing a series of outposts along the roads in Zeylant. Build them. Have I tested the random campaign? Uh, yeah, I did. So, on my YouTube channel, which you can find at youtube.com slash mordredviking, uh, in the very first episode of the Holy Fury stuff there, I do a random generation. I don't play through it, I just generate it so you can see how it works. And then this one is Shattered World. Hence it looks so weird compared to normal. And yet, believable. Hang on. Mordred of Berg, my grandson, is in line for the Dutch, uh, the Duchy of Holland. Why? You're not one of my sons. You're my son's heir, but that ship has sailed. He died. I can't see any of those things. I'm going to make the burkers pay me more taxes. Make me more money. Work harder. The wounds within, ever since the Battle of Provence, I find it hard to be near my children for fear of being sent away again. I cannot stand the thought of us losing each other in this distance. is better. Surely, it is better. I shall never be close to anyone again. Celibate even enough of these feelings by Odin, I'll punch someone. Gain the trait wrath, gain the trait stressed. I do not have Nightmare Servant, how dare you? Depressed, drunkard and cynical. I'm gonna punch someone! Arrgh! Third time of having stressed, we'll be fine. Just raid someone until it goes away. No, don't go that way. Go. Damn it. That way. You go to Luca, you go to Pisa. You move that way. In fact, you may as well head back and drop off the cash. Head back. Perfect. Young Esilt has finished her education in diplomacy. Okay. This is a story ass again. Oh, am I going to be able to read this? Read this? No. We have that truce. And I don't particularly fancy going here because it looks icky. Yep, it's got measles. Let's not go there. It is a silly place. Where's the other army? Oh shit, you're there already. Go there. Secret of stress is taking it out on someone else. Exactly! Grandchildren do count. That's irritating. Memorose become a elusive shadow. Okay. Whoa! Oh. Oh. Um. Very well, a challenge! Sacrifice, sacrifice, 
and they ran away. They suddenly realized who they were fighting and they're like, um, peace out. <laughs> 4,000 versus 7,000. Their center has already collapsed because they have no commander here. Uh, I could really do with balancing my own forces. They have a 22 marshal on this flank, so we'll probably lose that. We'll crush their center, we'll crush their left, and then we'll probably go to the right. Nope, we are actually going to the right. It's going to be these two fighting each other. We crushed it. Full of loot, influx of treasure. Bonus. Adil Gunis has finished her education. 700 losses, 3,800 kills, including 900 heavy infantry. And they're trying again. Those fools. 400 for 6. <laughs> so let's merge these guys together and then do an auto balance. Also known as, I need to throw some more troops at my center. Especially the heavies, because she's really good with them. In fact, you know what? I'm just going to put everyone in the center. I wish there was a quick way of doing that. Put the big units in the center. Then I'm going to start just throwing out the little ones. Until there's some kind of equality. Because I want to make sure that the heavy infantry stay in the center. Because the queen knows how to use them. I'll do. Right, I get big bonuses when I'm on the offensive, so I'm going to go on the offensive. No, you're not going to escape that easily. No, oh, no, 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 no. The Battle of Piombino. Our ongoing struggle outside of Piombino has brought out the best of our military strategists. One of them, a Frisian veteran with a penchant for innovation, he is suggesting that we he retire from the battlefront and return to Calera to continue his work. So we can get. Spend a bunch of money to gain Miltak, or make him a commander. We can get commanders easily enough. 